Hi there, Kawa here. So, uh, I'm going to be playing a Christmas team uh, today. It's going to be a little bit early um, on the day it's uploaded uh, for Christmas, but I have a more special Christmas team I intend to play for the Christmas Sage World Battlefield. Assuming there's actually people in that Sage World, but that's besides the point. Uh, f for today, it's going to be the two Christmas units. Uh, it's going to be Sakura and uh, Karen for uh, the Christmas units. Uh, as you clearly clearly can see here, Sakura is my move one. And we're totally gonna just bring that Christmas joy to our enemies with that Christmas tree. <laughs> we're gonna kinda beat their face in with the Christmas tree. Uh, her attacks can't miss uh, as long as she has the Christmas tree. Uh, because her, her mystery can't miss and her uh, standard can't miss as long as the Christmas tree is out. It does like high float and it, redu it suppresses super armor. And her crystal tree is relatively tanky. I think it's relative to you know her stat. Uh, and then obviously if the tree is not present, she can summon it again. Uh, it's interesting though that her chase it allows her to spam her mystery if you know you're able to pull it off. And the thing is that uh, in the description here it says immobile, but I'm 99% sure it's a chaos, not a uh, not an immobile. Uh, I'm not sure about the 10 combo though. I don't remember it it doing 10 combo. Uh, I could be wrong, seeing you know I I haven't played this team yet. <laughs> I just made it right here on the spot, and we're going to run with it. Um, and then, uh, Karen here, uh, her Christmas tree is slightly different, um, and they require, they, they don't stack on top of each other, they can't use each other's Christmas trees because they do separate things. Uh, Karen's Christmas tree lets her, um, poison people, and she can summon multiple of them. Sakura doesn't summon multiple of them. S uh, Sakura's one is she only has one, and then she does, like, a damaging skill if the tree is out. Uh, Karen here, she will summon more trees, and then at the end of the round, the tree will either poison people, or it will heal your team. And, uh, the, po the poison is, uh, strong poison, which is what they call toxin, in, um, or toxic, in the Chinese servers. And it stacks on top of, uh, your regular poison, so you're actually able to do both of them together. And it does some ridiculous damage when, you know, you're taking multiple stacks of different types of poison and her pass her chase here it's a 10 combo chase and if the tree is out she does the strong poison instead of the regular poison and if you know sakura's uh christmas present really is a 10 combo it's going to uh easily trigger this and it's going to be poison all around and her standard is interesting in the sense that it's a almost guaranteed high flow and she hits people with it uh she hits the lowest hp and it's always ignite but then if the person if you lost the unit it does um chaos uh that's the part where i don't like about it it's like if i already lost the unit she's not gonna be doing much damage anyways she that seeing that she's not like a move one at all and she's definitely not a uh move two she's more of the move four but she has this heal that she does um and she has this debuff to uh, male posts, just like uh, Sakura has. All right, so let's gonna go out there. There's more than ten people for sure today, so this is actually a legit video. So let's just start attacking people and hit them with Christmas trees. Uh, let's uh, let's attack this person. Oh, I also forgot to mention, uh, I set it up so that uh, Windmain will summon her clones first, and then the trees get summoned. So, it affects the positioning of the trees. And you can see that Sakura's attack is no joke. Uh, this person is weaker than me, obviously. But she one-shotted somebody with her standard. Alright, let's see how hard her uh, mystery actually hits. Whoa, that was 2,000 on Karen's Christmas tree? That's a little high. <laughs> Did not expect to see that high of a damage. Alright, so 
This is the Christmas tree attack. That was 26k? On the Sakura back here. Uh, also, I just realized I'm using the wrong summon. Uh, I'm too used to Gamariki right now. But uh, for this team, I specifically want uh, King of Hell. Because uh, Karen has the strong poison, and then you have the regular poison here uh, on the King of Hell. So you're actually doing more damage that way. Alright, what's here? This is mm, a weird team. Uh, obviously, I've seen it before. I think I talked about it before. So I'm not going to talk about it some more. So the idea is that I set it up like this so that Sakura summons her tree last, uh, so that it spawns on the side over here. Her tree is um, the more important one, as Karen's one is easily repeat, uh, you know, uh, resummonable just by using her mystery. Uh, but for Sakura, you want to keep it around so that you can um, make sure you can spam her uh, attacks. While, you know, Kyrian's one is not that important and easily is replaceable. And Madara here, I, I completely forgot to mention him. Um, he's mainly here so that I can um, generate chakra and replace trees that I need to. Because, you know, like I said, Sakura can just keep using her thing and Karen can use hers too. But Karen's obviously not a um, Konoha member, so she has to go last to ensure I get that uh, chakra. The poison here should kill these two. Yeah, see, you see there's like two ticks there. There's one in the back that looked like 3,000, one in the front that was like about 2k. Those are the two ticks, two separate ticks of poison. So, I'm just going to elaborate slightly on this thing, this team here. I never like putting Roshi and Han um, together in the front. It's just a thing I don't like to do. Uh, it's mainly because... You just want Roshi to do the frontline tanking. If someone's going to be a tank, you don't need both of them to be a tank at the same time. Because then you're just taking extra damage for no reason from sweep attacks. You could have just left the duty up to um, Roshi. And that was a 21k crit. <laughs> uh, this is kind of funny. And it's undodgeable, so if I hit any like Joni Minatos, it's going to hurt them a lot. Alright. Let's see how painful this tree is. That's pretty good. I'm actually not sure does, um, well, I couldn't even test it. If, uh, if I press that mystery for the tree, would it replace one of the clones, or does it just replace my uh, active tree? I'm not sure how that works exactly. Ah, I mean, we're talking uh, 180k, okay, let's see what happens. See, my attack is undodgeable. Let's see what happens there. That was a 29k crit. <laughs> and this is someone who was stronger than the previous person. Oh, that's so ridiculous. I don't have any buffs here. As you clearly can see, the only real buff I have is Madara's buff. I also want to comment that um, her giggle is really creepy. <laughs> she makes that hee 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 hee. It's like, what are you doing? Why do you laugh like that? It sounds so evil. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can one-shot him. He can't dodge my standard. 
Unless, you know, he kills my tree, but that's very unlikely he's able to kill it. Yeah, he barely put a dent in this uh, Sakura's tree. 4k? Okay, so there's no crit. 4k on a non-crit? That's, well, close to 5? That's not bad. Yeah, this, this moderator did a 6k on crit, so... Not bad, not bad. He's probably gonna die to the Shadow Clones. Yeah, there we go. I was just clearly whacking with the tree again, but oh well. Uh, who is here? Oh, okay. I thought I actually clicked on um, the guy with a spree, but I guess I'm wrong. So, ideally, I really do want to put the tree um, over here behind the clone. But uh, I would have to make you know her the move three and push them with me to move four. But I rather have her in this order. And then you know Sakura's tree, as I said, is relatively tanky because it's based off her stats, and she's no pushover. All right, we're gonna just um, sock this Conan in the face. I'm actually very amazed with this tree. It's critting a lot. Well, I, actually, all my units are critting a lot. See, you see those? Those are two stacks. That was a 4k, and I think it was like a 2k on poison. Whoa! <laughs> That's all I gotta say to that. I do love that she has that angry um, yell. Oh, also, uh, I, I just realized why they're, they're taking so much damage. <laughs> they have almost no resist right now. <laughs> they have no resistance and no defense because I had the two Christmas people uh, taking, I think, was it 30% each? So, yeah, 30% each adds up really fast. Oh, if he attacks the roll again, he's gonna kill the clone and keep going. I'm gonna kill two clones. Okay. Um, that's fine. It's not that serious. So the right way to actually do it is not to use the tree on round one. It's actually supposed to be on round uh, two, and then I, it, I can link it up with other things. But yeah, it's whatever you you know. And maybe it's better if I took dance impetus, but I kind of don't see a reason to take it because. Um, my main damage here resets her own thing. So there's no reason. <laughs> That's just so hilarious when she does it. Just clubbing people with a tree, it's like, hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find someone. Uh, no one here. Let's come over here. Is there someone here? In this crowd somewhere? Someone not ridiculously strong for me to. Fight. Damn, there's like nobody. Where is everybody? Uh, nope, no one here. Oh, Shadow got killed? Who is this? Oh, I can't attack them. Oh, I guess you. Oh, another Naruto. Actually, this is good. Uh, he obviously has Rune, because he has three swordsmen. And, and obviously I just saw him say immune, so there's that too. <laughs> that was 20k! Oh wow, it was a 10 combo. It went to 23. 
Alright, let me just put them out of their misery. If their move one couldn't take that tree attack, I don't think these guys can. Oh, he lives with 200 life. I originally was going to take um, the Queen's Momentum buff, but I forgot they changed it. The buff used to be like uh, all females got like a buff, uh, but it now it's just like, oh, only she gets it. I was like, oh, damn it. I thought it was like she gave like um, buffs to the females, but nope. Different these days. I can't find anyone here. Is there anyone here that I can attack? Somebody? Nobody? Nobody, nobody. That's a sled. I should avoid sleds. Um, yeah, whatever. Oh, I can't even attack them. Nobody here, nobody here. No, I don't want to attack you again. Oh, whoops. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Naruto. Perfect. Damn, summon blocking my way. Oh, it's a 200k. Perfect. We can maybe see some more realistic damage this time around. Uh, I'm probably going to go after the Kasame. Because. Actually, no, I shouldn't go after Kasame. I should probably just. Take down. Take down the first main? Yeah, because this guy's already CC. Yeah, I'll go out there. Okay. Oh, see, the tree just healed me. I prefer it if it would poison them instead of healing me. Because that poison does way more than the heal does. Alright. So, this tree is probably going to die on the mystery, but that's why I got this nice battery here to recharge. That whole backline just died. <laughs> oh, that's just hilarious. Okay, I guess the Earthman didn't die, but it's not that you died. <laughs> yeah, they took down my tree. Let's resummon it. Twelve K. Oh well, that backline just took eleven K and a six K. I wonder if I can one shot him. Nope, no crit. So as I always tell everybody, you know, a decent player never runs into a um Naruto's interrupt like that. Just wait for him to go. Just let him do his animation and then cue your skills. That's what I always do. Wow, I'm not critting for crap. I should probably check my skills are correct. Is I feel like the other crits are like a lot higher. I don't know why. Alright, let's see. Alright, might as well summon another tree while I'm at it. Alright, let me just really quickly double check this stuff. 24, 25, 23, yep, okay, I already was in the right place. I guess I was just unlucky. Do I even? Yeah, I'm just gonna debuff him. <laughs> I was up like thinking he's probably a uh, lightning blitz. He might have lightning armor, and he might just die in one hit. The Sakura. <laughs> Do I even need to debuff him? Uh, I probably should. Oh wait, Fred is it? Was it? Oh well. Awesome. Oh, 
Oh no, my poor tree. Ouch. 250k. That explains it. Uh, she should be fine. There's a clone now in front. She should be fine. I don't think a move 3 Shisoi would kill me, even with buffs. Actually, he's probably going to lose his buffs right now. Oh, impressive. No crit, like, yeah. Tiny heel and put a tree in front of her. Maybe it's just her mystery has a low crit rate because her standard looks like it's critting a lot. That's more like it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just her um, crit ratio on her stand uh, on her uh, mystery, not her standard. Her wrist, her mystery. It looks like it's a little bit lower than her um, standard. <laughs> So, um, I know a lot of people don't like hearing it from me, but I'm just gonna say it. Uh, I don't like this setup for Naruto because Naruto is very lacking in damage. A lot of people don't like to agree with me on that, but he's lacking damage in the sense that he doesn't scale off. If he doesn't get there, he will get outscaled by a scaling DPS. And that's the, one of the reasons I don't like the setup. I understand what the setup is trying to do. But if you're fighting someone who scales, you will probably be dead before you get anywhere. I literally just realized when that tree connects, presents pop out. Um, <laughs> I guess the enemy's a pinata? <laughs> Uh, what is this? Where is it? 280k? Okay. Okay, okay. We're going to eat a burst. And then we're going to debuff him. Ooh, killed that tree. Oh, I, I forgot there was a Toby Rama. Um, my bad? <laughs> I probably shouldn't have did that. Oh, I also forgot to mention that um, this team, nobody here is mooted except for my main. I didn't moot any of these people, not even that Madara, because I rarely use him. Alright. We just gotta resummon the tree and get there. Uh, these guys under took damage from poison. The, the Asuma buff is gone already. Probably trying to kill my main. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Might as well summon the other tree while we're at it. I 
it's a little troubling now because I don't have a way to reset uh, her mystery. But hey, we at least get a chaos out of uh, Karen now. Alright, let's do this. I might actually lose this one. Um, it's the price I pay for playing a jokey team. <laughs> the bright side is I have two untouchable standards. But it's Madara's not long for this world. Yeah, see? It's also a partial mistake on my side. I could have, uh, I should have held the, the Sand Dusk mystery and waited. Because then I wouldn't have taken so much damage. All standards. Um, that was completely my bad. <laughs> because then he would not have the buffs, um, except for the barrier. Because he would have lost a shield, and then Karen would have poisoned him. So then his standard wasn't going to hit as hard, and, you know, kill my guys. That's where I messed up. Um, but, yeah, and there's nothing much to say outside that fact that I messed up and also I'm playing a, a, a fun Christmas team. I was going to be second. This is fine. I, I always expected myself to be second. Never being, able to, never being able to take first. It's really hard for me to take first. Because Shadow is usually on Hiruzen. Uh, Hinoshi is also usually on Hiruzen. So, there's really no opening for me to take first unless I also play Hiruzen and uh, I race them to the finish line. But yeah, guys, this is um, my fun Christmas team. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. It was I found it really entertaining that Sakura hits so hard <laughs> for no reason. Uh, th that Christmas tree just ridiculous. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I'm going to have a special team for you guys for Christmas Day, assuming, you know, Sage Row Battlefield actually has people in it. Uh, yeah, look forward to it. Alright, have fun!